Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to service your Land Cruiser 200 series using original parts by Toyota and I'll be editing stuff called Liquid Molly to the motor and you'll see how the motor sounds once you do add it in there. First thing is to identify your filling points, it's right there. Be very careful with undoing this, it comes on a plastic neck that goes into your manifold onto your rocket cover. It's a very, very shit manufacturing or engineering job by Toyota that can easily break so when you undo it be careful with this if it is too tight support it from the bottom and twist that at the same time do not forcibly twist that now these are the oils and uh, stuff I'll be using I've got the original engine oil from Toyota 1540 it's done for the diesels very very good much better than anything else I've used it keeps the motor nice and quiet and your catch can fills up with so much less oil than you would with anything else original oil filter do not go aftermarket, it's only 25 bucks. Do not go cheap. Oil filter can restrict the amount of oil that goes through and it can, and it's been known to actually impact, especially to your motors. This is a liquid molly solution, engine oil resealer, buy from super cheap order for 20 bucks. Very, very, very good. 300 mils does five liters of oil. So you wanna add two bottles, so $40 into the oil after you change the oil. Make sure the engine is warm, then add it in there. <clears throat> after the service is done, this is a diesel clean and boost by Liquid Molly. One of the best stuff out there. Cleans the common rail injectors. No harm to the motor. And it cleans your entire fuel pump, fuel lines, injectors, entire fuel system. This stuff here, you want to add in there roughly about 200 to 250 mils per tank. But make sure it's a full tank. You do about 20 to 30 mils per 10 litres. So chuck in about 250 mils. I'm, I'm doing about 300 mils because my car's got 300,000 Ks on it. So I'll be doing 300 mils per full tank. Get your tools ready. I'm using a compact or impact drill. Socket set, 10 and 12 to under the bottom tray. And I've got the key for the oil filter. Okay, so first things first, you simply wanna identify this again. Come underneath the car, take off the driver's side bash plate and remove that cap there so you can see the sun plug that's the first thing you do. The cap is this, sitting behind the sun plug. That's what you'll see. And that's the bash plate from underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, about nine bolts. This one is only two bolts. You also need size 14 to undo the sun plug. You need a half inch to undo the oil filter base so you can leak it out. Then you need the key as well to undo the whole oil filter. So I'm back underneath and that's the sun plug, size 14, put it on there, unscrew it, make sure you have oil catcher, tray, get a 10 litre one. As you can see, oil's flying out. So to catch it all, when it's done, you dump it to the oil filter. This is your oil filter, original Toyota opened up. That's your drain plug, which we're going to use and I'll show you how to use it. It's your oil filter, it's internal, your new seals. These must be lubricated before you reinstall them. So get some of the used oil, rub it on it, and put it in. That's your key for the oil filter. Go to Toyota, it's original, 50 bucks. Make sure you have this, otherwise you can't get the fucker off. It's important. Now that's the oil filter. That's what you want the half inch to go into. You want to unscrew this first. Then you're going to pop in that little tap, which I'll show you what to do. Oil will come out of that when it drains, then unscrew this. If you unscrew this first, a lot of oil will come out. I've now unscrewed the base plate and I'm going to insert that tool, which is this one here, into there. Okay? Pointy bit up. And when it's installed, it's like a tap. It drains out the oil from the oil filter. That's very important, otherwise you get oil going everywhere. Again, make sure you're catching it all. Once it finishes draining, put the cap back on and then unscrew it using this tool. Using a tool, I've unscrewed it. You see how black it is. You want to replace, there's a washer right there. It's a big rubber washer, the ring. You get the new one that comes in the packet. That's your old oil filter. Simply slides out, lift it up. Now when you take it out, make sure you clean inside thoroughly. Very important. So the filter's out. You see how black it is? That's before. That's after. 
Give it a nice clean. Now get a flathead screwdriver and take off that rubber seal. See it? And replace the seal. That's a new one on it now. I've covered it in oil again. Just get it out of the packet. And you've got a second seal which goes on a plug at the bottom, which is underneath this. It's your filter. So you get it, plug it on, and reinstall. Now that's back on. Your next seal goes right here. It's in the packet, that one there, and again, lube it up before you put it on there. And then install this back on top. And that's your finished product. Make sure you do it nice and tight. With the seals in there, each seal lubricated, and then you're done. By now, your oil should be pretty much finished. Close it up, put the bolt back in, and then fill it up from the top. All right, with the bolt back on, tray gone. I'm gonna get this piece again and put it right on top. Okay, two bolts. Then you put the bash plate back on to cover all this up and protect your oil filter. Now this is your finished product. That's back on to cover the sun plug, as you can see. Bash plate is back on from there all the way down to there. So one complete bash plate in the cover. Now we move on to the oil. Again, I only use original Toyota, $48 trade, and that's the classification you want, $15.40. Very important. Come on top, chuck in your funnel, fill it up from there. Don't put in 10 litres. First put in 9 litres, measure it, and then maybe top up if you need to. Don't put in 10, only 9. Okay, so I've used both bottles, and as you can see, I've left approximately a litre from both bottles. That one's empty. That one there's got a litre left in it. What you do when you're finished, you get your oil cap, take out the funnel, put that back on, run your car for about two minutes, then turn it off, then check your oil level on a dipstick. If it's perfect, leave it. If it's not, then top up as needed. That's it, guys.